If we thought it was hot for the women's side, add two hours and about 10 degrees, and that's how much hotter it is. 10.30 in the morning, the men just diving in, 60 plus men off the beach. You can see there the crowd along the boardwalk following these guys. It's an opening 400 meters straight away and then a hard right hand turn. A thousand meters is that opening loop. John Rasmussen from Canada leading through the first stages of this thousand meters. He raced very well here last year. The young Canadian on the one of the national under 23 athletes as they come out of the water, run along the beach, back into the water. You can see one long string of men, that opening thousand meters really has not done much to get rid of these men, very tightly bunched together, back in for a second 500 meter loop. As you can see them going back in there, the Argentine team very tightly bunched, the Italians as well, they've got a great team. The French, some of the best men in the field expected to come from France. Look at the arm turnover right there. Cristiano trying to stay very close. This is the man who can run very well through the heat and out of the water. You can see Perez who last year was third here. He's got number two on his arm. Having a solid swim, we're gonna have a group of about 25 or 28 men heading out onto the start of this bike ride. Leonardo Chacon just coming out of the water right there. That's the Olympian, a group of about 28 or 29 men right now just going up into that first big hill. Tyler Butterfield, who came out of the water near the back, absolutely riding himself into the lead group. And in fact, he's got a small breakaway, about six. This man incredibly powerful on the bike. One of the top athletes last year at the Ironman. You can see the chase pack now of about 21 or 22. Six or seven of them have been cut off into that lead bunch with Butterfield. And there they are. They're out of the saddles, powering up this hill. I don't think television cameras do great justice for just how difficult this course is. Lebrun, the skewer working in the lead group, the chase group working incredibly hard, trying to stay close by, and they're starting to lose time. And there they are, our leaders, seven of them off the bike, getting ready to head out onto this incredibly hard 10 kilometer run. The two Frenchmen side by side right now. We know that they have run very well in the past Butterfield. Looks like he may have some heavy legs after such a hard bike, and here they come. Grajales from Mexico, all eyes will be on him after having won the Pan American Championship just a few weeks ago. It's gonna be about 22 men off this bike. They're gonna have somewhere in the neighborhood of a one minute gap, and side by side, the two Frenchmen moving very quickly now, trying to hold on to a one-two punch on this course. They are absolutely flying down the hill. Tacconi, who has been on the podium here before, hoping once again to stay close. He is really a big man, trying to stay close. It is very hot out there. And there is Uccellari from Italy. He is running through the field. This guy came off the bike in that uh, chase pack. And right now, Lescure is starting to run through the field. He's got himself a sizable gap. Tacconi trying to keep the temperature down. He is overheating, you can see. Uncellari right there starting to move himself into the top four, so he's having an incredible run. The Italian right now is running through this heat and humidity. It doesn't look like it's bothering him at all. And there's the skewer. Oh my goodness, he's less than 50 meters from the finishing line and it looks like he is overheated. The skewer back down in here. That is unbelievable. Tacconi is going to pass him on the blue carpet. Luciana Tacconi is going to claim gold for Argentina. And here comes, it looks like the Italian is gonna go through Lescure as well. This is an unbelievable finish. It is Lescure just getting across the line in third spot. That was a gutsy performance. It was nearly 100 degrees temperature here in Hatoko. I thought I was fighting for the third, but in the last meter I saw Lescure in the floor. It was, I wanted to, to, help, to help him, but Uccellari was behind, so I just take the, the win. A very, very hot condition in Huatulco. I'm very, very happy for myself, for my mind, and for all the people who work for me in Italy, for my family, and it's an incredible day. Tacconi takes gold, Uccellari silver, and you can see there an empty podium in third as Lascura has headed off to the medical, he's fine, but not able to make it to the awards podium.